I was looking ahead at the 2014 class, and you guys need a, a ton of bodies on both sides of the line. And I'm obviously speaking generally, not specifically, but when you're looking at video of prospects, and I imagine you're looking at a lot of video, what type of stuff are, are you looking for as far as the, your, your, your ideal high school offensive line? Physical, a guy that's definitely uh, uh, physical by the way he plays. Uh, I, get a, I want to feel a guy when I watch him on film that he excites me by what I see from the way he plays and his willingness to really uh, finish blocks like we just talked about. So that's first. I mean, because that's important. That, you know, you want to you want to have that guy that's it's in his personality that he likes to mix it up. And then you obviously go into how athletic is he? Can he run? Does he use his hands well? What program does he come from in terms of the actual um, learning curve? Meaning. He's, he's really a, a great technician. Well, I know this school, he comes from a heck of a coach that does a tremendous job. He may come from an area I'm not aware of, or maybe it's whatever the circumstances are, but tough being first and foremost and researching more how smart is he that he's able to grasp things. Because again, in a system where you got to play fast, under, under the pressure, under the noise, all those things, how quickly do they respond to those things? So that's important. And, um, you know, and obviously the size, you know, the bigger the better. Um, you know, but. Um, you know, just, you know, I'd say again, the first two being as important and tough and smart. Coach, where do you fall on that? I don't know. I don't know if you buy this, but a lot of people, you know, I work for rivals, and a lot of right. people say that, you know, that's the, that's the toughest position to evaluate just because of how much the bodies might change in three or four it, years. Do you think that's, I mean, is that fair? It, it is definitely fair. And, and here's why. You know, um, a guy, you know, like the offensive linemen's bodies and their personalities and everything about them is unbelievable how much they change. There's guys that I've coached in the past that whether we've gone into a situation or we recruited a guy and I said, boy, you know what? I don't know how I don't know how soon he'll play or if he'll play. And then in one year's time I go, oh my gosh. You know, the so-called light came on. It's a matter of maturing, and it, and, it, and it is tough. It's difficult. I mean, you really got to research these guys. You got to really, uh, and, and that's the part that's hard right now is guys are so quick that the offers are being made and being jumped on. And, you know, when you do your research, when you talk to the coach and you, 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 you learn about his development, you learn about his growth and so forth. You know, Eric Fisher's a perfect example. I was going to ask you about it. Yeah, I mean, no. we did. And, and, and here's what happened with Eric, and, you know, and that's the normal deal, too. How many offers does he have? Oh, he, he, he has one. Well, don't recruit him because he only has one. Well, I think at the end, you got to be one that you, you, you really trust yourself that you say, I like this, I've done my due diligence, I've done my homework on this guy. And, and, and when I say in terms of Eric, here's a guy that came to our camp. He was 6'6", 245 some pounds, played basketball in high school, small high school, did the research with the high school coach, work ethic, character, school, all those things comes up to our place and in a year's time he puts the weight on under again coach Lawson and his training and you know and guidance and all that and so forth and next thing you know it's taken off for him and, 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 and there's a perfect example of some guys shot away maybe because they saw that the project would be too you know everybody wants right now well the project would be a little bit more down the road I'm so happy for him I mean he's you know tremendous young man and you know we had one year with him uh, started as a freshman but uh, it, it's just it, it, you really got to, again, research it, look at the kids' bodies, and, and, and be patient. And that's the hardest thing today, as everybody knows. You drive through McDonald's, you want it now. You know? I mean, that, that's what we want. We want it now. Well, it, it's not as immediate, you know? So that's just kind of what we got to deal with. But you just keep chipping away at it, you know? And, 